give the Lord a hand cup of praise. I'm out of it. 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 Amen. 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 
Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise one more time. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord, but we ought to always, always continue to praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him. You know what old people say? God be good to you. Nobody should have to ask you to praise Him. They ought to come around and say, ma'am, could you be quiet? They ought to, they ought to, they ought to have to ask you to sit down.
Yes, we need to pray for our veterans. Uh, our married to one. She needs your prayer as well. Uh, all right, uh, Deacon Bet, we need you to take us, please, uh, to the throne of grace. Because we all stand in need of prayer. Amen. 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 Shall we pray? Most kind Father, we come this morning just to say thank you. Yes. Because you're the good God. Oh, yeah. You keep blessing over and over again. Mm -hmm. You woke us up early this morning. You closed us in our right mind. Oh, yeah. You gave us to dress yourself to a day that we never seen before. Stop by just to say thank you. What a God we serve. Oh, yeah. You keep on blessing us over and over again. We look to the hills which our help come from. Yeah. Our help come from you and you alone. What a God, what a God. Oh, I want to thank you for all the things that you have done. Yes, Lord. Not what you have done, but what you're doing right now. Yes, Lord. Not only that, but what you're going to do. Yes, Oh, hallelujah. We lean depending on you right now. Thank you, because we realize that our help comes from thee and thee alone. Yes. We can't do nothing without you. But with you, we can do all things. I thank you, Lord. Thank you. I thank you for saving me one day. Not only saving, but keeping me safe. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And giving me mind to want to serve thee and thee alone. What a God, what a God. We know you heard the prayer of this. We know you don't have to think about it because you don't already look it over. Yeah. And not only that, but you don't touch right now. What a God. Not only that, I ask you to touch your past in a special way. So you love it on the round, protect them and keep it. And let your will be done in this life. And let him know that you would have every step of the way. Yeah, yeah. What a God we serve. Yes, Lord. Bless the first lady, strengthen her. Right now, Lord. And let your will be done in her life. Yeah, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I thank you for just being thank God. You, Lord. Thank you, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord. We thank you for so many things. Yes. 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 We know that you yes. live, that you set high, oh, yes. and then you look low. Yes. Yes. Everything yes. that we need, thank you. you have it. Yes. All we got to do to be in our right thank mind, you. and then ask you, and you will give it to us. Yes. And I want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you. Praise you, Lord. Yes. Take my hand. Lead me on. Yes. Me on. Yes. Let me stand. I am weak, yes. but thou art strong. Yes. Hold me oh. with thy powerful hand. Yes. Thank you. I love you this morning. I love you, Lord. So many out there yeah, that yeah. think you don't live, but I know you live this morning live because you live in my heart. Yeah, yeah. If you live this morning, yeah, what a God we serve. Yeah, we look around yeah. and you right there. Yeah, yeah, we look ahead yeah. and you right there. Yeah, we look up, Lord.
got, I, I do thank God for, we got us an old school deacon. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We got us an old school deacon, and I, I thank yes. God for him this morning. Thank you, Lord. Because, yep, in my haste, I read off the prayer request, uh -huh. but I didn't read off the prayer list. That's all right. But if you were listening to our deacon pray, uh -huh. he said, God, we know you already done looked over yeah. the yeah. Oh, come on, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he did. He said, we ain't going to worry about the list. We ain't going to call the list. And he said, God has already looked over the list. But I'm going to read it off anyway to you because you have not looked over it. Think it's Simon Hargrove still remains on our prayer list. Sister Jean Richardson and Otis Richardson still remain on our prayer list. Our very own Deacon Gordon Williams, even though he's running around here like a madman, yes, he's still yes, uh, on our prayer list. We got to continue to pray for our Deacon. That God can change yes, to, yes. to just keep on doing what he's doing, look like to me. You know, he just got to let the doctors know that he didn't already heal him so he can give him a clean bill of health. But we already know God is an awesome God. And, and, and don't fit, forget or don't fail to pray for our pastor. That, that really goes without saying. Amen. You know, the church always prays for the pastor. Amen. You know, and our, our pastor needs your prayer. Amen. Uh, the prayer of the righteous avail is much. So, you know, we need much from God right now. We ask God to do a big thing. You know, our pastor is a big guy. Yes, sir. And our God is a big God. Yes, sir. And we ask him to do some big things. Yes, sir. We expect God to do great things. Anybody expect God to do some little stuff? Let me tell you, he does little things too. But oh, he's a great God. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And pray for our first lady. Because what I said earlier, when, when our pastor is down, she needs most strength to hold him up. Amen. Oh, yes, I know I'm right about it. Please pray for those that are incarcerated. Those locked up in jail this morning. Uh, uh, Donald Burroughs, Latoya Joplin, David Lee Moore. The Washington County inmates, we have one of our members that's missing from around here, Brother Holly Davis. We pray that you continue to pray for him, yes, Lord. That, that God would do wondrous things in his life yes, and yes. for him. You know, and, 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 and I always say, please, please stop, please, man, when you buy always the altar, Come on. don't forget to pray for me. Yes, I stand in need of your prayer. God is a good God. I don't care. Yes, and I know. It don't take all of this. But sometimes the fire gets to burn. The prayer wheel gets to turn. And I say, I can't hold it. I quit trying a long time ago. I quit trying to hold it here when it gets ready to come out. I got to let it come out. So excuse me if I hollow up in here. Woo! I'm trying to behave, but sometimes we got some announcements. I think Big Stan over there, you ready to give us uh, our announcements this morning? After that, well, I'll say this while he's on his way. Slow down, walk slow, D. Uh, <laughs> uh, don't forget, uh, Monday night, prayer list, prayer line, prayer line. We have a prayer line going, been had it going on ever since we've been had pastors, uh, uh, diagnosis, whatever it is. But ever since then, we've been trying to pray every Monday night at 7 o'clock. Uh, you can join us, please, ma'am, please, sir. I'm going to try to read this number right this time. 609-663-4929, 609-663-4929, and it's going to be Monday night at 7 o'clock. Everybody just dial that number and you can join in on our prayer line, and we'll be praying primarily for our pastor, primarily for our pastor. But, you know, when you get God on the line, you're going to want to tell him everything. Amen. So, <laughs> Even though he already know, like he said, he already looked over our prayer list and it took care of it. So, but uh, we're going to offer you that opportunity. And then uh, Tuesday night is Bible study, 7 o'clock via Skype. And then Thursday night is Bible study plus. Uh, so be mindful of those announcements. And then Zeke got another one over there. Good morning, Paul. Um, I got something from the past year. We have a gentleman who is um, needed to get on the ballot, I believe it is, for the judge of the district court, the 14A, 
Um, he's asking for our signatures here. So if you are a registered voter in Washington County, who again wants to sign the petition, please see me after service. And again, it's for a gentleman who's up for a judge of the District Court 14A, um, and he needs signatures on this petition that I'll have here. So please see me after service. Amen. 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 Let's say amen. Amen. Say amen again. God is awesome in all of his ways. Now comes the time in our service for our offering. Uh, we're going to have our officers come as you prepare uh, yourself uh, for our tithe and offering. Tithe and offering on this morning. Uh, you know, you can't beat God given. No matter how hard you try. That's what the song says. You can't beat God given. No matter how hard you try. But ain't nothing wrong with trying. Yeah. You know, because you're already behind. You start giving God, you, you can't catch up. You know, when you get behind on, on them payments, it's hard to catch up. Oh, yeah. You sure love can't catch up with God. Oh, okay. you, just can't, you just can't catch up with it. Because you know what he said? He wants it all. God really wants it all. He ain't worried about your little change. He wants you. Right. Magnificent you. He wants your right. all. He wants you and all of you. Right. You know, how many here, really, 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 how many of here consciously want to hold back from God? Oh, Lord, have mercy. That, that didn't even sound right. Is there anybody got anything they want to hold back from God? Oh. I, I just don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so. That sounds insane for me to even say it. It don't even sound right flowing off my lips. Nobody wants to hold back anything from God.
it, it started this morning we had about I had about 15 or 20 young people in my Sunday school class. And, I, and I'm an uh, adult Sunday school teacher and we had already started some adult lessons. And I said, Lord have mercy, thank God for the children. <laughs> Yeah, thank God for the children. I, I know Pastor would be beaming wherever he had to see all them kids lined up across that back row. I mean, hey, that got me, that got me started. And I, I promise, I promise I'm going to behave myself. I'm going to behave myself. But, but there's something about Sunday morning. Amen. I don't know, I'll be fine all week long, but there's something about Sunday morning. Amen. I thought about Sister Donna this morning when I opened that, that front door and the sun would come in. And Donna always teased me for getting that weather spoon dip. Yeah. <laughs> and right there by the front door, I got a picture of Alice and Willie. Yeah. And, and, and I used to pick up the old man and, and I come by there on Sunday morning, that front door be wide open, the sun be shining, and he's sitting there waiting on me. Woo! God is a good God. And, 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 and I thank God for the gift of that old fella that used to give me the blues a lot of times. <laughs> but then, that's like salt and pepper, but then all the blues he gave me, they had a little girl sitting on his wing that, that would sweeten it all up. Yeah, she would sweeten it all up, make it all better. Like salt and pepper, hot fire and ice, or, but uh, it was a mean combination over there. I guess you're looking at the product. That's why I guess I could beat salt and pepper too, I guess. But uh, God is a good God, I tell you. Yes, he, 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 he just never fails, uh, never fails to do what he does. Because uh, I had been looking for that sunshine, but little did I know when I opened that door, that sun would come in, I was going to think like that. But that's all right. I, I turn one of them songs on that she's like, yeah, oh, I know it. I was... <laughs> <laughs> and I put these little songs up. I learned how to lean. I, I, I learned how to lean on him. Woo! This morning, uh, we don't have a uh, songbird, so we're going to have a congregation on this morning. I hope and I pray that grab some of them words, some of them lyrics, uh, when you came in this morning, and we're going to do a uh, congregational, and, and, and the Bible says don't quench the fire, don't quench the Holy Ghost, so I ain't going to try to put the fire out, I'm just going to let it go on burn, so I, I, I apologize and for anybody that, like the priest say, thank you, don't take all that, I can't help it, it's just where the day where it's on, so let us stand.
perfect peace. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Our God is an awesome God. Yes, sir. Giving out to God, Father, of our Lord and Savior, Jesus, who is the Christ, uh, to Pastor Gordon, our profound, prolific preaching pastor in his absence. Uh, the first lady said he's doing fine, but he just got the sniffles. He got the sniffles this morning. So we're going to continue to, to, to pray for our pastor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I want to give out to uh, the doc, my co-laborer in the cause of Christ. Cause of Christ, Dr. Ruth Mormon, in her answering as well. We got a chance to see her at Bible study. We finally got that computer together where she can can, can see and be seen and speak and, and be heard. <laughs> and we thank we thank God for whoever was over there and got her online and wired up. My, my, my. Did my heart good. You know, I believe she's the only child of member we have left around here at St. Paul. Amen. I do believe she is. And, and she's doing fine, too, now. She got that smile, and she said, go on, boy. You know, for y'all that don't know, boy, I was way down here when I first heard her say, well, go on, boy. <laughs> yeah, I used to get at this pew and get under there and crawl all the way to the back pew. Oh, yeah. God is a good God. <laughs> yes, he is. I want to give honor to you, my St. Paul Church family. I do thank and praise God for your presence. I thank God for your prayers and, and the love that is shed abroad. I feel it. Amen. See, there it goes. Amen. Amen. I feel it. I feel it. And to any brothers and sisters belonging to the household of faith we have Amen. today, Amen. I greet you in that precious name of Jesus, who is the Christ. Amen. Jesus, who is the risen Savior. And we'll talk more about that on this coming week, because this is the week. This right. is Palm Sunday, and yeah. next Sunday is Resurrection Sunday. So you'll hear a whole lot about me now and then about the risen <laughs> Savior. Oh, yeah. You know. Oh, yeah. God's good, y'all. Yes. Amen. Yes, God is good. Oh, yes, he is. As uh, Pastor Riley was saying, well, I can say that without fear of any successful contradiction, that God is good. <laughs> well, turn with me, if you will, in your Bible once again to uh, uh, Luke chapter 19. Turn with me in your Bibles or boot up your phones or your laptops or your iPads. You know, nowadays, uh, you, don't, you don't hear a whole lot of pages turn. But, <laughs> but God's word is still good. Amen. That's right. Now, back in Moses' day, he had it on a, on a rock. <laughs> he had God's word written on a tablet, a stone tablet. It was a tablet, but it was a stone tablet. Oh, come on, somebody. Luke, chapter 19. Chapter 19. Beginning at the 41st verse. The 41st verse. Read it to your hearing uh, down through 44. 44. And when he was come near, he beheld the city and wept over it, saying, If thou hast known, even thou, at least in this thy day, the things which belong unto thy peace, but now they are hidden from thy eyes. For the day shall come upon thee, that thy enemies shall cast a trench about thee, and compass thee around, and keep thee in on every side, and shall lay thee even with the ground and thy children within thee, and they shall not leave in thee one stone upon another, because thou knewest not the time of thy visitation. That's the grass does wither, and the flower does fade, but the word of our God shall stand forever. 
For subject today, I know you seen that that passage of scripture was not really a shouting scripture. It was not talking about good times. It was referring to some bad times that was ahead of uh, the people of Jerusalem. So for a subject, allow me to use, if you will, Palm Sunday tears. Yeah, y'all got quiet right there. Didn't you? Yeah, but it is Palm Sunday. Yes, it is. And I've probably been shedding more tears in here by day than anybody here today. Palm Sunday's tears. That's my subject. Most Bible students know that Palm Sunday gets its name because of the palm branches from the palm trees that was used to line the road when Jesus entered into the city. Oh, come on, Bible readers, you 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 know that uh, they they took palms out of the trees and laid them down in the road uh, where Jesus triumphantly was about to enter the city. You know, his triumphant entry was prophesied mm -hmm. by Daniel some 483 years before Jesus arrived at that city. This Palm Sunday's event was recorded in all the, of the Gospels. Everyone, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they all recorded this, uh, this event. Mm -hmm. And today we will be looking at it from Dr. Luke's perspective. Mm -hmm. About five days before the Passover, Jesus and his disciples left Bethlehem and headed to Jerusalem. You know, uh, Jesus was headed toward Jerusalem from the day he was born in that land. Hmm. He was headed toward Jerusalem. Even though Jesus had told his homeboys mm -hmm. what laid ahead of him, they were not too sure and really didn't understand what and why it all had to take place. Mm -hmm. You know, Jesus was headed to Calvary, y'all. Jesus knew he was headed to crucifixion, y'all. Because the day is Palm Sunday. But before Sunday gets back here again, you know what happened. Amen. My Bible reads that. We well, only got to be a Bible reader to know that. Amen. You know, because they, what they say, we got CME Christians. Yeah. Uh, 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 what, uh, what, Christmas? Mother's Day and Easter. <laughs> Y'all know the story. Matter of fact, they had the Ten Commandments on last night. <laughs> Refreshing your memory about what was about to take place. But these disciples, they, Jesus told them. He didn't let us sneak up. He told them what was about to happen. But they, they didn't really understand what was going on. This was the most important of all the Israelite speech. There were said to be over 3,000, uh, no, I take that back. There were said to be over 300,000 pilgrims in Jerusalem mm. and more on their way to celebrate the Passover. Mm -hmm. You know, they had these uh, holidays that they, they came from all over the country. They couldn't get on the planes and the trains. So you know how they travel by camel and donkey. <laughs> And, and, and sandals and bare feet. That's what brought them there. But over 3,000 of them had pilgrimed their way to celebrate the Passover. Well, church, we must look beyond this uh, triumphal entry to Palm Sunday's tears mm -hmm. and who was actually shedding the tears. You know, that's why I don't feel so bad. I used to try to hold them back, I said, but I, I quit that. <laughs> if, if they want to come out, let them roll. Amen. 
Because you know what? Jesus wept, didn't he? Come on now. So, so that means when I share these tears, I'm in good company. I, I, you don't hear me. Help me preach this if you can. When them tears get ready to roll, you got to let them roll. That's not what right. Our text tells us it was Jesus. Uh -huh. Jesus, the Savior of the world. The Bible says, and when he, Jesus, was come near, he beheld the city, Jerusalem, and he wept over it. Uh -huh. Oh, it's in your book. It's yeah. in the Bible. He, he, he looked down there and he just, ooh. Yeah. Pastor Peter Simon said he didn't just sniffle, he boo right. right. mm -hmm. Over the city. Oh, I wish I could take, take you under my arm as a, as a, as a hen with a broom. He, he wept over the city. Mm -hmm. Heaven's greatest ambassador was making his public uh, uh, entry into Jerusalem. Not to be respected, I might add, but he was to be rejected. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on now. Mm -hmm. The same ones hollered, hold down, hold down. They hollered, crucify him. Yes. Am I right? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Uh, Bible commentators have said that Jesus didn't just whimper. He really sobbed. As Pastor said, he boo-hooed y'all. Jesus could see the future ruin of the city. You know, Jesus knew they was out there partying and celebrating then. But he knew soon and very soon the whole city was going to be in ruin. The Bible says in our scripture text this morning that not one stone of that temple would be left unturned. Oh, come on now. <laughs> he could also see right through. <laughs> I like this part. Right through those faith praisers. Oh, come on now. He can see right through those fake praises, those fake hosannas. Help me preach now, if you can. Fake praises. Come on. Don't get quiet on me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Deke, they got quiet right there. <laughs> come on, come on. Don't move me now. What does Jesus see in your praise? Yes. All right. Yes. Don't move me now. Right. But you can't move him. What does Jesus see in your Hosanna? Right. Yo, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Yes. <laughs> Come on, everybody, put your hands together, praise the Lord. <laughs> what does Jesus see? Remember now, Jesus wept yeah, yeah. while all those around him were rejoicing. Yes, sir. Everybody was hollering, hold on, hold on, hallelujah. 300,000 of them. But Jesus wept. What a tender spirit he had. Anybody here ever read in the Bible where Jesus laughed? Well, I don't think so. But here we often find, here in other places in our Bible, we find Jesus shedding tears. Yeah. Amen. Come on now, he wept that Lazarus yeah. grave. Yeah. I'm going to get the shortest verse yeah. in the Bible where Jesus wept. Mm -hmm. And here, looking out over in the room, the Bible said he wept, he boo-hoo, he, he cried, y'all. Also, verse 41 tells us that Jesus sees beyond the pleasantries of the people. Mm -hmm. And he, he, he beholds the city. The beautiful city of Jerusalem, at the time, it was a pretty place. Like I said, people came from all over. Mm -hmm. Nearly 300,000 of them were traveling there to celebrate. Come on, now. Celebrate the, the Passover. So much in our world today is superficial, y'all. Come on, now. We got fake beauty. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, they preach if you can. <laughs> but, but beautiful Jerusalem was a breathtaking view. Mm -hmm. A breathtaking view it must have as Jesus rolled in and looked down on the stick. What a view. The pomp, the ceremony 
on this blessed occasion of Passover. But what our Savior saw caused him to weep. What our Savior saw, it grieved his very compassionate heart. Church, is he grieved at what he sees in your life? Talk back to me if you can. I ain't heard nobody say nothing, though. Is he grieved, is Jesus grieved at what he sees in your life? I don't think they talk back to me if you can. <laughs> Jesus sees behind our hour showing text. Remember what the Revelation, uh, John the Revelator said in uh, Revelation 2 and 2, where it said, Jesus says, I know thy work. Yes. He sees beyond the hour show of our lives, uh -huh. the hour show that we put on in our lives. Uh -huh. He sees the vacate, the falsehood. Uh, 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 uh. He sees the falsehood, uh -huh. that hidden sin in our lives, yes, Lord. that smile that often overrides our inward tears. Songwriter says, smiling faces sometimes. Are you? Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Also, also, we see Jesus cares about our pain. You know, because he, he didn't weep over his own pain. It was over our pain. Yes. His primary concern was over their sin, y'all. Mm -hmm. Jesus knows sin kills and steals and, and, and corrupts and, and disrupts. And that's why he cried. Mm -hmm. He saw that. He sees the our, our, our fears and our, and our tears. Come on, church. We know that sin does bring pain, right? Yeah. Yeah. Much pain, right? Not only ours, but our sin causes pain to others. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You know, but I was out there drinking, smoking, joking. Yeah. That was my favorite line. Yeah. Talk back to me if you can. Right. I ain't hurt nobody but myself. Right. Yeah. Anybody else said that? Yeah. 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 <laughs> But, but our sin causes pain. Yeah. I talk about that little old lady that's sitting on that pew right there. I wanted her so many times to give me one of them women she used to give me. Yeah. She said, no, nah, boy. After I'd have been out drunk or I'd spent up all my money smoking that crack. She said, boy, I'll just put you in the hands of the Lord. That's what she did. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. She said, all you got to do, Psalm 46, 10. Mm -hmm. What? She said, all you got to do, Psalm 46, 10, because I don't put you in the hands of the law. Mm -hmm. See, because that, that, that old girl, she didn't have to whoop me. She could just talk to me. You think I'm crying now? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, yeah. From the very first sin in the Garden of Eden to this day, sin still causes pain. Yes. The Bible says that sin even causes death. <laughs> Come on. That's, that's worth the pain, right? Right. <laughs> the wages of sin is still death. Come on, y'all. Amen. Every act of disobedience brings pain and even tears to the heart of God. Mm -hmm. You don't hear me? Every act of disobedience grieves the heart of God. And we learn in Bible study that if every sin we commit rips at the very fabric of God's heart. Mm. You do know he hates sin. We talk about this Sunday school abomination. Mm -hmm. Everybody likes to say God is love. God loves everyone. God, yes, yes, but there's some things that he hates. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. 
Dear God, oh, shoot. I know they say preachers don't talk enough about sin, but I got it in here today. All right. Amen. Oh, shoot. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's a negative consequence. Yeah. And the Bible says that all unrighteousness is sin. Amen. You don't have to guess what is sin. Amen. All unrighteousness is sin. And, and don't think for a minute that you're going to get away with your sin. Oh, Jesus died for my sins. Yeah, he did. <laughs> but there's consequences for your sin. Amen. You just can't win when you sin. Of course, you don't even know. <laughs> some of the TV shows we watch, some of the movies, some of the stories, or should I say, some of the lies that we tell. Yeah. All sin brings pain to you. Yeah. And more importantly, it causes our God to pain. Somebody say he's almighty. He's all powerful. Yeah. But he still hurts. Yeah. Oh yes, I'm like. Oh yeah. Sin hurts him. Sin hurts him. Matter of fact, sin killed him out on the cross one day. Oh, that's another story. But here, sin brings pain to you and me. Jesus knows our full potential. Verse 42. Because he said in our, in our scripture text, he said, if thou had known, like I know. <laughs> Jesus said, if you only know like I know, <laughs> you wouldn't do what you do. Amen. Come on, somebody. Go back if you can. <laughs> Jesus knows. Jesus knew that Jerusalem might have been what it might have been because it was already a blessed city. Jerusalem was a blessed city and it was a city of blessings. But we all know what became of a city, that beautiful city. It became a city of war, a city of grief. Jesus knows our potential, what our life could be, what our life could have been without sin that came in with our decision. Yes, sir. I just want to know, where would I be, how would I be if I never smoked a piece of crack? I just want to know, where would I be, how would I be if I never fell in love with cognac? Oh, come on, somebody. Have you ever thought about it? Well, how would your life be if you never, ever lied? Talk back to me. Amen. Well. I'm gonna leave it Amen. Jesus knows, though. He knows what you still can be. He knows what you still can achieve. Don't, don't under, underestimate him. He can still help you to achieve great things. So when I laid down wine, whiskey, and whiskey, what I say? When I laid down wine, whiskey, and women, <laughs> chasing women, I still like women. <laughs> hey, Jack.
might have been. That's one of the saddest words that ever been written. It might have been. Oh, she might have been this. She, he might have been that if he hadn't have been this. Jesus knows. And he knows, though, that we can still achieve great things. Oh, yeah. Don't oh, yeah. underestimate his power. He still has power to, to activate that potential that's still inside you. Oh, yeah. Hmm. What's going right about it? You may have blown it in the past, I know I have, but with Jesus, great future beats a great past any time. Oh, yes. Oh, I know right. Amen. Hallelujah. With Jesus, great future beats a great past every time. Jesus longed to give us peace. Yeah, yeah. Jesus longed to give us peace. Jesus says, uh, these things which belong to thy peace is what he wants to give us. But you know what? He is our peace. He gives us a peace that passes all understanding. Amen. Yeah. See, I got peace this morning. Just because them tears falling, them ain't no bad tears. Them peaceful tears. Amen. Them joyful tears. Peace is a good word, y'all. Yes. Something we all need or would love to have is peace. And Jesus, our Savior, has plenty of it, just waiting to give it to us. How many in here want some peace? Oh, come on, y'all. How many in here want real peace? I ain't talking about that great joy. I'm talking about peace. That's some good stuff. Thank you. Did you know that Jerusalem means city of peace? But Jesus saw the war that was waiting in the wings. Uh -huh. Verse 43 and 44. Church, nothing has changed. If we want peace in our world, gospel has to be preached. And people have to be saved. Oh, yeah. What could help Ukraine a save the Putin? That's right. Uh -oh. Amen. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. All right. People saved. Okay. What would help you cry? A saved Putin. Amen. The Holy Ghost feel. Look out. Putin. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That would fix it. Yeah. That's what the world needs yeah. is Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Just like power. We're going to hear a lot about him coming up. But if Pilate had Jesus in him instead of in front of him, if we want peace for all people, you, the gospel must be preached. Yeah. We, we, when the gospel is preached, when the gospel is preached, our tears of sadness can be changed to tears of gladness. Oh, I know I'm right. Amen. Joy, unspeakable joy. St. Paul, can I tell you, a uh, 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 much beauty has, has been created as a result of Christ going to Calvary. Hmm. Come on now. Don't get quiet on me. Calvary was not, Calvary was not a place of beauty. Mm -hmm. Got quiet in here. Mm -hmm. But just cover your eyes and imagine Jesus mm -hmm. on the cross. Mm -hmm. Blood stained cross. Calvary, Calvary, my dear heart, was not a place of beauty. <laughs> although, 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 must rejoicing has reverberated around the world due to Calvary. Mm -hmm. The cross was certainly not a place of joy. I tell you, <laughs> we're going to hear my hit parade here pretty soon. Lots of songs going to be sung about the cross. Right. Oh, you know we're going to hear at the cross. Uh -huh. Old rugged cross. Yeah. Down at the cross. Yeah. Oh, come on now. Yeah. Much comfort has swelled within our hearts. Uh, and, and not only our hearts, but the hearts of millions because of Calvary. Yeah. But church, let me tell you, Galgotha's healed. 
Golgotha Hill was not a comfortable place for our Savior. Back to me. Amen. <laughs> How many of you think you could have handled the cross on Calvary? How many think that was a pleasant place? How many think that was comfortable when they nailed nails in his hand? Right. Hallelujah. Come on now. Hallelujah. Preach. Thank you. How comfortable do you think it was for our Savior? My Jesus. Your Jesus. The Savior of the world. How comfortable yeah. do you think it was when he was falsely accused by the priest? Yeah. You know you hate it when somebody lies on you. Yeah. Yeah. Some of us don't like it when they tell the truth. <laughs> Talk back to me if you can. I know you don't like it when they lie on you. I ain't gonna bother nobody. Amen. How how comfortable do you think Jesus was when he was bound by the guards, beaten by his captors, despised by the Pharisees, and betrayed by his friends? How comfortable? How comfortable do you think he was when he was even misunderstood by his family? Church, <laughs> if it was not sufficient. Inhumane, cruel treatment within itself. My Jesus, your Jesus. Mm -hmm. Oh, he was stripped of his garments. Shamed, I tell you. He was naked on the cross. Yeah. Blood in the wall. Came down. Mm -hmm. They slapped him in his face. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, it did. Y'all watched this. Y'all yeah. watched uh, Jacob Mamet last night. They, 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 they pulled pluck hairs out of his beard. Yes. I know you ladies do them eyebrows. That hurt when they pull them out, don't you? Oh, come on, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. You should have tried them plucking your beard. Yeah. But that ain't all. They, they, that ain't all. They made a nail in his hand. Yes, they did. They put a crown on King Jesus. Yeah. A crown of thorns. And then they just set it on there gently. Come on, somebody, talk to me. They pressed it down on his head. Then here come that old mean soul. Pitched him. And it's And the blood and the water came stained down. And I thank God for the blood and the water. The songwriter said, because that water. Washed away my sin. And blood covered my sin. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. And furthermore, furthermore, still, as if, as, if, as if that wasn't already enough misery and affliction and torture, Jesus Christ the Savior, my Jesus, your Jesus, if all that wasn't enough, the nails in his hands, the nails in his feet, the spear in his side, the thorns on his head, if that wasn't enough, even forsaken by his father. You do remember, he said, my God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? Jesus died, I tell you. Oh yeah, he died. Didn't he die? Oh, yeah. Did he die? Yeah. Come on, you know he died. Yes, he did. My Savior, your Savior. Yeah. He died. Yeah. Did he die? Yeah. Did he die? Yes, he did. Thank you. Yes, he did. Thank you. But that's not where the story ends. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. He died. He died that you might have a right to the tree of life. He died that you might live and not die. He died that you could sing and not cry. He died that you could live. He died that you could wake up every Sunday morning. He died that you could come out of St. Paul and worship. He died that you could see your grandchildren running around. He died. 
Thank you, Lord. But that's not where the story is. He died. We can stay right there for a while. He died. That my sins would be forgiven. He died. That I might be saved. He died. That I could sing amazing grace. He died. Precious Lord, take my hand. He died. Then I can sing down at the cross. He died. Then I can sing at the cross where I first saw the light. He died. Oh, come on now. But that's not where the story is. That's not where the story is. Yeah. <laughs> no, it ain't. Because uh, they put my Jesus in a bar of tomb. Yes, sir. Your folks said they put my rock in a rock with a rock on top. But the angels. Oh, come on now. He don't sing it next week. The angels. Oh, yes, they did. They put Jesus, the rock of angels. They put my rock in a rock. And then they put a rock on top. But the angels. I said the angels. Oh, they came and they rolled the stone away. Yes, they did. But before he got there, yeah. he laid there. Yes, Lord. yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he, did. Jesus. he laid there Jesus. all night long yeah. and all night long. Oh, Here we go. Right. Here we go. But I laid. I said I laid. He didn't sleep one minute late. I said I laid. Right in the alley for the chicken crow.
my stuff. <laughs> oh, Heard my discouraging cry. Yeah. And from the water, yeah. oh, he lifted me. Because we don't believe it. 
Come on, can I get a witness in the house? We don't believe that it will. That's all. He won't read until you believe it. Come on, Bible readers. You've got to believe that he will. And then he will. Because if you don't believe, there ain't no need to ask him if you don't believe he can do it. Tell you right now. If you don't believe God can do it, don't ask him to do it. But I know he can do it. Got to get a witness. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Already know, but you got to know. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, here we stand, oh God, humble as we know how. You told us that we can come to you, anything that we ask, and ask in your name, you give it to us. So we come now, Father God, asking you, first of all, to forgive us. Forgive us, oh God, for our many sins. Uh, our sister Lisa Thomas said by her mouth, or a bad choice of words, but Father God, we have many sins. And we want to confess to you right yes, now. Lord, yes, we want to get on our side yes, and confess our sin. As she confessed her sin to you, yes. we confess our sin. Yes. And you said in your word that if we would do that, that you would cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And not only that, first you would forgive our sins and then cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So we thank you now, Father God, that you're faithful and you're just to forgive. So we thank you now. We pray that you give me some the desire. She already has a desire. She would have came and told us about it. Amen. So we, we know she has a desire. Increase her desire. Increase her desire where she will, won't want to say nothing else but what's right in your sight. Father God, replace those words with other choice words. We know you can. And we believe that you will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Go, Amen. Lisa. And Jesus told that woman at the well, go and sit no more. Please go and cut no more. Don't do it. You have to get your dictionary. Get your dictionary. When one of the words come out, find another word to put in the place. Of it. You know, because that, that's what happened when, uh, when when Jesus cast some demons out of that one house. They went back in because the, the man hadn't put nothing else in the house. We might well go on back up in there. But if you replace a word with a word, you're going to be all right. Every time you get ready to cuss, say hallelujah. Every time you get ready to cuss, say praise the Lord. You can't cuss and say praise the Lord at the same time. That'd be hard to do. Tell me, tell me, get with me. Every time, God, come out your mouth. God is good. God love. Saved. God, don't let me say that what I want to say. Right, right. Just do it. I don't care where you at. If the people can put up with your nasty mouth, they can put up with your praise in mouth. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Just say, praise the Lord. <laughs> praise the Lord. But I don't care what. As a matter of fact, we can do that. I don't care what happens. You praise the Lord. Yeah. Anyhow. If it rains, praise the Lord. Snowing, praise the Lord. Sunshine, praise the Lord. Big money in your pocket, praise the Lord. No money in your pocket, praise the Lord. Hit the praise the Lord. Stomach ache, praise the Lord. Amen. Till the nag of the food, praise the Lord. Come on now, am I right about it? Come back in. I don't care what you can praise the Lord. But no matter what happens in your life, what situation you get in, in your work, in your job, at your home, wherever, you can praise Him. And when you praise Him, uh, look out. But right. when the praises go up. Hey. Hey. Be, mindful, be mindful of all our announcers. Uh, please, oh, please, ma'am, please, sir, continue to pray for our pastor. Pray for all those on our prayer list. He told us God didn't already take care of this, but we got to pray anyway because that's our part. I see a pastor's finger up in the back. I have not been a made, a, made aware of any with the COVID and the pandemic going on. I'm pretty sure it won't be that many, but you may find some on YouTube or somebody may be streaming them. But uh, I have not. Like I said, I did not really talk to the pastor. I don't know if he heard of anything, but he, if he had it, he probably would have sent me an email or something. I don't know. But uh, no, I, I'm, I'm thinking. My thinking machine says there probably will be 
but I don't know of any. Hey, I'm not going to say it. But I'm going to say it anyway. Look in the book. The Facebook. <laughs> if it's, if it's going to be something, gonna, somebody going to put it on Facebook. Come on, I know I write about it. I know I write about it. If, if there are some, somebody going to book it. On the book. Let us stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 